Birdie 39 channel, welcome. Right, word is on the street. Mark II Golf coil over suspension fits straight onto the U11 model Nissan Bluebird. So I've got the car here. This is the Mark II Golf coil over the suspension. And uh, yeah, according to people on the forums and on the Facebook groups and stuff, it's bolt straight on. No, it doesn't. There's a few things you've got to do to it to make it fit better. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I did to do it. I just completed the other side. Uh, it wasn't as straightforward as people make out. Okay, so take the top of the, the Nissan suspension off. Don't need that plate anymore. Don't think we need that nut. Just the washer, this plate, and the bearing top thing. Okay, so first of all, this washer from the Nissan has to fit over this threaded top of the damper rod. It doesn't fit, so we've got to open up that hole. Pair of dividers. Coarse rat tail file. Just hooking on top now, so it's about to become a size where it goes over. It's quite hard work here yeah, doing this, so keep checking it. Don't waste your time doing too much. Change my file, half round file, I call that. Just get a neater curve inside. And then when this is done, it fits nicely, I'll neaten it up with this in my drill. So you can do this sort of work. You don't need proper engineering equipment, no like killer drills and laves and all that shit. Just basic hand tools. Do this in the back of your garage. Okay, so it took me about not even 10 minutes just going around it, five in, five in. It now fits on there. Uh, very easy to put that in a drill and just neaten it up. So I'll just do that. It'll get rid of the burrs on the edge as well. So I'll do that now. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, I'm just a bloke with some hand tools. Look, perfect. Perfect circular hole directly in the center. So that's done. So also from the Nissan suspension, we got this plate, uh, I don't know if you can see there, there's a flat. I need to get rid of that, that needs to go over as well. So that's not quite fitting. So this is quite quick and easy. <laughs> yeah, filing that out now. Okay, so Nissan, Nissan, Golf. Uh, so that's on top of the spring on the coilover. Uh, that's going under there like that, pushing against the center of that bearing. So that means that's going on top of there. And the problem is that's got a rounded inner edge and that's got a sharp corner. And because of the sizes, it kind of really secure on there. I didn't like that, so I modified them to fit better. So what I do next is take that corner off. So doing it by hand again, no laves or nothing. Uh, hand tool, just a file, flat file, and a piece of wood sticking out in front of me. I do a lot of filing, so you can see I'm set up pretty gushy for it. So yeah, that goes on the corner of the wood, holds it nice and secure, and then my file, I can just hold that at the angle I want. And just work my way around it, just rotate it as I file. See that, just taking a corner off. And uh, I'll go round it a few times and uh, try and get a decent flat on there. And then every time, test it, make sure I'm removing that wobble. So this is only anodized aluminium. It's really soft metal. You can file it really easily, which is good. So I took that corner off, look, even that amount. I'm gonna do more, but even that amount. It's a lot more secure on there. It takes a lot more power to wobble it. Anyway, I'm gonna do more, it can fit better. Okay, so that's about enough. A few minutes work, really easy actually. And uh, that's much more secure on there now. So I'm much more happy about those sitting together. Cool, so that's done. That's the top. That's the top of the coil over, modified and ready to go. Down like that. There you go, nice and sturdy on there. Uh, put this on. Washer, nut, Let's see if I can get that to bite on with my fingers. There you go, 
That's the top of the suspension done. But you can't fit them yet. There's more work to do on the bottom of the coilovers. This bracket is uh, it's quite wrong. So put one bolt in, second one doesn't go in, look. Going down that, it won't go straight across. So what I did, what you got to do, get a fine marker pen. This is what I did yesterday when I was fitting the other side. Just looking, I saw I need to take a couple of mil out the bottom of it. So that's what I'm doing, both sides. Okay, so let's try this again. One bolt, two bolts. Cool. So surely you can fit the suspension now. The people on the forum said they fit straight on. Bollocks delay, there's still more work to do. Check this out. Look at that gap. That's not good, we've got to fill that up. So when I did the first side, I thought, I got to this stage, I was like, oh no, I've got to do something about that. So I decided as a quick fix to just get some washers. So I went to my local hardware store, bought an assortment of washers. The ones that were best were these, and they were, out of this packet, 2.3 mil wide. I think 2.5 you'd get away with. It'd be high quality if you made a proper bracket with holes lined up that just sat down the whole, that went down the whole length of it. That'll be better quality with two holes in. Um, but I'm not doing that. Washers will do it quickly for today. In the future, maybe I'll do a high quality job. But anyway, yeah, 2.3, 2.5 will probably work. Uh, these were three mil. Didn't quite fit having two of those. So yeah, 2.3 is what I'm using. So what I recommend doing is putting, getting the nuts loosely attached on the top, just so it hangs up those. position. This is a little bit awkward doing these. Okay, nut. You've got to get a washer in there. side obviously. Do that bottom as well and then it's good to tighten everything up. So this is on now, I'm going to finish up tightening everything up and make sure everything's safe before I put the car back down. Um, yeah, so Mark II Golf coilovers on the front at least, you can get them on a Nissan Bluebird but a few little jobs you got to do. I'll give you one more bit of, uh, where's that gone? 28 mil of thread remain in there. Lowers the car 70 mil on, on this set at least. So it might give you a guide on what you want. So that's the minimum we're gonna lower this. I, I want it lowered, possibly going all the way. I want it really, really low. So uh, anyway, I'm just testing everything out, lowered a bit. So lowering 70 mil to test it out, first of all. So there we go, lowered. Went for a test drive, all good. That's sitting for 70 mil lower than standard at the front anyway. We'll do the back next. So that arch is about level at the top of the tire. Loads of space to go lower. Lowest point under the car is there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my Jaguar I had in London was four fingers up. That's probably five fingers up. So we'll go a bit lower. Anyway, I'll test out the suspension first. Anyway, next, let's do the back. 